There's, they're going to be over here too. So I'll point again to the, those two are open. Come springtime, that'll be open, that'll be open, and then you close this one. Okay. And then over here you have two more valves. Come springtime, you're going to close this one and open the bottom one. Okay. This is going to be the one we use to winterize your trailer. The bottom one is the um, line coming from your fresh water tank right here. So to winterize this, we're going to close this one and open that one. Now your water pump right here is going to start sucking through this hose. Okay. Alright, so now that we're that far along, now we can come over here and turn your water pump on. So you just keep the pump on and run it until it shows antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Let's like see, now we got antifreeze coming out of the hot side. Now we want to do the same with the cold. See how it's clear now? Uh-huh. Now once you start getting antifreeze, go ahead and run them, maybe an extra cup full through. That way you're filling up your pea trap down below with antifreeze. Okay. Because if you don't do that, if you just have plain water in your pea trap, that's going to break during the winter time. Don't want to do that. No? Okay, so this sink's done. There's cold. Now we got hot, so we'll just run a little extra through it. And that's it for that. So you just keep flushing it until you get antifreeze. And yep. then you just leave it like that? And then you just leave a little bit. to see the black ring down below? That's a gasket down there. Yeah. And then having that antifreeze sit over the winter just like that helps protect that seal. Good. So just cool. let that sit just like that. Okay. Just pull this up out of the antifreeze. And then open up a faucet to suck all the rest of it out of that tube. Now you hear the pump just running clear. Uh huh. Once it does that, now it's going to keep running because there's nothing in it. And then just shut the pump down here. Because if you open up the bottom one and close this one, and somebody accidentally hits your water pump, and there's just enough water maybe in the bottom of that tank to suck it into that um, water pump, then your water pump's going to freeze. So if you leave that just like that over winter, and then when it comes to springtime, you're going to have your five valves. The three here and those two, just turn them all the opposite of where they are right now. All the valves in here, just turn them the opposite. Mm -hmm. And then run the pump with some water. Right. Yeah, go ahead and fill up, you know, you can fill that about half full for your fresh water tank. And then fire up your water pump and then just flush all the antifreeze out of everything we just winterized. Okay. Then you'll be good to go. And then once you flush out the system, then go ahead and put your plug in. What I would do first is flush the system out before you open up these valves. And then you can put your plug in the tank outside and then open these valves. That way you just get fresh water in the tank. Put the plug in outside. Yeah, so what you're going to do first is... Oh, you mean the one that we just un... Yeah, that we're going to go outside and take out. Okay. So what you're going to do is, like, fill that maybe half full, and then the close... water tank. Yeah, yeah. and then open, open the bottom valve and close this valve here. Then turn on your pump and flush the whole system out. Okay. And then once you flush your whole system out, then go ahead and open these valves here and close this one. And then as long as you have your plug-in outside, then you can fill up your hot water tank. Okay. So first you yep, take relieve the, the pressure, pressure out there. Yep, just open that up. This is where you don't have any pressure inside the tank. 
because if you don't do that and you got pressure inside the tank the second you pop this plug out you're going to get a whole face full of water Now that's coming from the hot water heater? Yep. Wow. Six gallons of water. Yeah, see, I thought when I drained it, it drained that too, but no. Nope. That's the most important thing you want to drain when you winterize these. Because those things are just a six gallon pop can. When they freeze solid, they blow up like a pop can. Oh, great. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I bet we do. I bet we replace 50 of those a year. And a thousand bucks a pop. Nope. Oh man. <laughs> and then once you